Welcome to What to Read Wednesdays. Hi, I'm Marlene. I'm the North Carroll Branch's Adult Services Supervisor, and I'm glad to have you with us today. This month for What to Read Wednesdays, we've chosen a theme, and the theme is Off the Radar. The book I chose is Becoming Mrs. Lewis, the improbable love story of Joy Davidman and C.S. Lewis. Why did I choose this title for Off the Radar? Well, not because it's not a bestseller, it was. And not because it hasn't won any awards, it has. Such as the 2019 Christie Award Book of the Year, or the finalist in the 2020 Romance Novel Award. But I chose it because the relationships of the two main characters of this book were totally off the radar. It was a shock to themselves, to their acquaintances, their families, and even to us today. A celebrated scholar and writer, C.S. Lewis, known by his friends as known to his friends as Jack, he had had great success. He had written Screw Tape Letters, Chronicles of Narnia, which many of you are familiar with. But he was a very, very private man. For six decades, he was a confirmed bachelor. He and his brother, bachelor brother, lived together for, I believe it was 33 years, in their home, the Kilns. But at the age of 60, Jack met Joy, a unique, much younger, American writer, a divorcee, and he was a theologian. And she had two young sons. She and the boys turned Jack's life upside down. They had a beautiful but brief four-year marriage that ended tragically when Joy died of breast cancer at the age of 45. Jack was devastated with grief at her passing. She was my whole world, he said. He could hardly endure living day to day. He wrote some very famous books while he was going through that time, such as The Grief Observed, which you may be familiar with. Author Patty Callahan of this book has done amazing research in all that she has learned and just searched, visited, was at their home, the kilns, where Jack and Joy lived. And I wanna end this time uh, as we listen to the author as she shares the actual beautiful setting of this book for the true to life novel that tells us about Becoming Mrs. Lewis, the improbable love story of Joy Davidman and C.S. Lewis. I hope you enjoy this book and thanks for listening to What to Read Wednesdays. In a landscape that inspired so much of Narnia, the improbable love story of C.S. Lewis, called Jack, and Joy Davidman unfolded at a place called the Kilns, the home of C.S. Lewis and his brother Warney, where they lived for 33 years. On the grounds where one can imagine Aslan traipsing through the woods, or Mr. Tumnus hiding behind a tree, the land consisted of eight acres of forest, lake, hills and gardens surrounding a brick and gabled home. Jack and his brother Warren bought the house on the edge of Headington Quarry in 1932 on the site of an old brickworks kiln, thus the name. This is the house where Jack wrote all seven Narnian chronicles, as well as most of his other books, including The Screw Tape Letters, The Great Divorce, and my favorite, Till We Have Faces. The house was a three-mile walk to Maudlin College at Oxford University, where Jack was a tutor of English literature. Joy first came to know and love the Kilns when Jack and his brother Warney invited her to spend the Christmas of 1952 with them. It is there that Joy discovered its beauty, where she met the gardener Paxton, who was the inspiration for the character Puddlegum in The Silver Chair. It was there that she discovered the gardens, where she eventually planted her own vegetables, and the orchards, which provided fruit for her jams and pies. She learned that in 1939, during World War II, children had evacuated London to stay with the Lewis brothers at this house, and that is when the idea for the Narnian Chronicles was born. Joy could imagine this as she wandered through the forested area to the lake. 
It is at the kilns where so much of their love story unfolded as they walked the property, cooked in the cramped kitchen, read, studied, and wrote in both the common room and Jack's study. It is the home where Joy and Warney became as close as brother and sister. When Joy permanently moved to England with her sons, Davy and Douglas, in 1953, it was the home where they relished in the freedom of the acreage, learned to garden with Paxton, played croquet, and for a while owned a horse Jack bought them. It is the house where Joy returned after learning she had metastatic breast cancer and where she miraculously recovered to enjoy three blissful years of marriage with Jack. It is the house where Jack died in his brother Warney's arms. But The Kilns is of course much more than a house or a setting in the novel Becoming Mrs. Lewis. It is a spiritual center in Jack's life, his brother Warney's, and of Jack's marriage and love story with the woman he described as the whole world.